All right, guys. So a lot of people talk about how much clay do I need to make a good mug? Or how much clay do I need to make a spaghetti bowl? How much clay do I need to make a really nice shaped vase? Or sexy pot, we call it. So that's all um, relative to how great of a potter you are, how skilled you are, and also what your personal preference is. How thick or how thin do you like your walls? So I'm gonna do a little uh, sort of experiment here to show you what I believe a certain amount of clay should get you in height. So this is about four pounds, five ounces. I'm aiming for sort of four pounds. And the reason why I have that extra clay um, is uh, for any sort of waste that may come off Four ounces is a lot of clay. Four ounces can make a spout. Four ounces can make a lid. Four ounces can make um, a handle. So we really want to be really aware of how much clay we're using so that we have goals. So again, I started with sort of a Hershey Kiss sort of shape so that I don't get any air inside. The other thing is, is I'm gonna make a cylinder, but it all depends on how wide I want that cylinder to be to determine the height. So obviously a six inch wide cylinder might make something that is about eight inches high. And then a three inch wide cylinder may make something that is nine inches high. What's also gonna determine is if you want a foot on there. Remember, if you have no foot, if you, you don't need that uh, quarter inch or half inch foot, that's gonna allow for probably an inch more height in your cylinder. So I'm a big fan of measuring, even if it's just to test your skill. So now I've gotten the clay centered. Now remember your mounds of clay determines how wide your pot's gonna be. If you're gonna make a utensil holder or something like a cookie jar and you want it super wide, you're gonna to wanna to open up, you're gonna to wanna to flatten your clay wider. But if you're aiming for something that's about this wide, let's say this is about six inches, um, then this is, you wanna make your mound about six to seven inches. Sometimes we lose a little width when we're um, scooping up from the sides. Okay, so right now this mound of clay from width to width is about six inches. So if we're trying to make, let's say a four and a half watt inch wide cylinder, let's see how high we can get four pounds. So wheel moving fast, I'm gonna use two thumbs going down. Remember when I start to go down, my elbows are down on my legs. If they're up here, that evil waist is gonna go ahead and allow our hands to move. I also have my hands wrap down so that the sides of my fingers can compress that lip as I start to go down. Cause sometimes that clay sort of pops up. I'm unsure as to why that is, but it does. But my whole hand allows larger pieces of clay to be compressed. So I'm gonna check my floor. I'm not aiming for a foot. So that's about three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. As many of you know, I'm really bad at size and distance. I'm also bad at ordering things on Amazon. I don't look at sizes. So uh, the ruler is always super helpful for me. And for smaller, more intricate measurements, I tend to use centimeters over inches. Something about the metric system they get works a little better. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna open up the mounds of my, the whole of, sorry, the floor of my clay a little bit wider than what my desired thickness is. Just the way when I start to pull up, if I lose a little bit of width, it's been sort of compensated by the fact that I made my floor a little wider than I needed to. So I'm gonna go in here and compress that floor. Really get it even. And the inside of my cylinder is squared off like this. If I have my cylinder like this and this is the outside, you're wasting quite a bit of clay and then your final product is actually gonna be round. Okay, so my first pull I call the corrective pull. Right now, this is thin, this is thick, and this is thin. So my first pull is gonna be no pressure, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, and almost no pressure. 
that's gonna make it so that I don't have to pay attention to thick and thin for the whole entire pot. With big clay, I always use a sponge. Compress that floor, that wall, that lip, sorry, shush the lip. So now my wall is consistently thick and I don't have to think about thick and thin anymore. Again, when you're starting to scoop up from the bottom, you wanna make sure your inside hand is not pushing down on your floor while you're scooping up because then you'll get that moat on the inside of your pot. I'm gonna go ahead and get another pull in there. Challenge yourself to count your pulls. It's always interesting to see if you can do a little more, a little than you normally would. So now I don't, I want to keep building this up, but I don't want the clay to start to go out. So I'm going to collar wheel moving fast. Collaring is a wet and fast thing. I use six points, thumbs touching one, two, three, four, five, six. My, everything is elbows are on my body. My fingers are on the same plane. I start to go up. I start to go up. I'm not doing anything. And now I start to get aggressive to close that up. And I wait until my fingers gently leave the top. I always compare it to placing a card on a house of cards. That last card, you kind of wait there a little bit till it's steady and then you lift. I'm starting to go up again. I am starting to slow my wheel down just a little bit. I am putting less pressure up on my lip. I find that the last thing I will do is really thin out that lip. That's pull three. Scoop up from the bottom. Now, my hands are not touching, but watch. The minute they can, I take my thumb out and I touch that other hand. The goal is to really not stop in between poles. When you stop in between poles, your arms get really used to being attached and then they get used to being attached and your arms are becoming stable up on top here. And then when your hands aren't touching anymore, because they can't, this arm has been used to being stable. If you stop and you talk to the person next to you, chances are that arm is gonna forget the stability. So I want you guys also to notice that I start with my sponge on the bat and I start to scoop up that extra clay and then I hand it to my inside hand which is a little above my outside hand. And I start to go up and then I compress that lip. Get the water out. And that might've been pull five. And that's really just cause I'm talking. I'm gonna try and get one more pull out of this just to thin out my bottom. Now I am a fan of finger lines. Um, if you are not, And you can go back, I'm sorry, then you can go back in there and uh, smooth it out with a rib. I also tend to pull with my fingertips, not my fingerprints. If I pull with my fingerprints and I just do this, very often I'm not going to get as much done. The clay could go down or the clay could go up. But if I use my fingers and I literally scoop them up, the clay gets on top of this creation, this tool, and it comes up with you. Now, again, it all depends on how, what your desired thickness is. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of a corrective pull. You can see I'm a little uneven. So now with my hands completely still, I'm gonna try and straighten that out. So if it's indented a little, I'm gonna put more pressure on my inside hand. If it's ex sticking out a little, I'll put more pressure on my outside hand. I do have to close one eye. <laughs> if it's because I'm old and need glasses. And I'm gonna come on up now. What is your desired thickness? Well, um, I don't like thin pots. I tend to carve my pots and I tend to be a little more rough with my pottery than most people are. I like this process more than I like the end result. So I'm not as attached. So I really like to have my clay. Let's actually look at this. Let's go centimeters because it's, so my wall is about three quarters of a centimeter thick. So I guess in inches, that is about, 
a quarter of an inch thick. Um, you can try and go thinner. Let me see if I can. Now I would have called this a pot two poles ago. But to try and get a little thinner, I'm gonna. All right, so let's see how much clay I take off on the bottom. Okay, that might be, you know, that extra four ounces I started. So again, this is like this. I drive, I lean it up against the side of my pot. I go straight down. Now, for those in my class, you know I use a pin tool for this. I'm just going to do the more experienced way of... Okay, and let's see what kind of height I got going on here. So this is about four, four and a quarter pounds ounce, uh, of clay. And it is nine inches by five and a half. So nine by five and a half. And that's the height that I got. I am at about... I don't even know I'm so less than a quarter of an inch thick. Again, for the height, I kind of like that. Okay. And now let's take a look and see. Move this around a little bit. What it looks like on the inside. Find a wire tool. Okay, so what I'm about to do is probably gonna stress you out, but I highly recommend it for practice sake. We run something here called Cylinder Bootcamp, and by the end of it, everyone just wants to cut all of their pots open. So I put my thumbs flat down. I'm just gonna stop in the middle, come straight up. Let's take a look and see. Oh, that is not as thin as I would have liked it. Okay, guys, so uh, on a side note, <laughs> I could have gotten a lot thinner, so I think I probably could have gotten a lot another inch or so. So to show you guys how I pull, I have my sponge on the outside. This is here and this is here. My hands are usually attached, and I'm literally scooping the clay up until I get to the top. Now, how much thinner would I have liked this? I think that that would have been a more desirable thickness. Um, so that is a lot thinner. So my lips sort of led me to believe that I was a little thinner than I was. But what I am happy about is this angle down here and that my floor is evenly consistent. So I did it about nine inches. I guess I could have probably gotten to about nine and a half, ten. 10. So you can see the difference in height if I just would have went a little thinner. All right, guys, I hope that that little exercise helped.